We've had to combat invasive insects and plants for a long time, well over 100 years. But right now we have three of concern that are white hot in terms of how they're affecting Ohio's agriculture industry. We're gonna go over those now. Extension Today is sponsored by the Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Most of the eastern half of the United States is experiencing an outbreak of highly pathogenic avian influenza. The key to keeping our Ohio poultry safe is biosecurity. For wild birds, you don't want any interactions with your flock whatsoever. Make sure that you use great sanitation. You want to wash your hands before you handle your birds. Ohio is on the forefront of expansion in ticks going from one medically important tick to humans, companion animals, and livestock 20 years ago to five now. One of those ticks is the Asian longhorn tick. The first thing that you want to do is you want to come up with a personal protective plan that includes wearing permethrin treated clothing. And then I recommend you wear long pants and long sleeves. The spotted lantern fly is not really a fly, it's actually a plant hopper. When scouting for spotted lantern fly, look for egg masses on any hard surface. If you find a spotted lantern fly adult or egg cases, contact your extension agent or the Ohio Department of Agriculture immediately. For more information on how you can do your part, head to go.osu.edu slash extension today. Extension Today is sponsored by the Ohio State University College of Food, Agricultural and Environmental Sciences.